Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. As you can see in the thumbnail, I have a little bit of news. <laughs> One of us, and when I say us, either me or Joe. Yes, his name is Joe. Everybody wants to know his name. A lot of people already know his name because they figured it out. His name is Joe, and there's so many times in the videos that I accidentally say it, and then I have to cut that out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you guys his name is Joe. Very easy name to remember, right? Right. And is there a reason that I was not calling him by name? Yeah, a couple of them, just because people are mean. And I um, and, uh, just wanted to keep you guys attached. <laughs> I wanted to keep you guys curious. So one of us is moving, and it is not me. You knew that, right? You knew I wouldn't move. And uh, there's several reasons why Joe is moving here. And uh, one of them is that he's from here. He's from Memphis, born and raised, and lived there many, many years of his life. And the reason he was in Arkansas was just because he had a job with this other company. I think maybe a company before that one too. And he ended up getting an apartment there recently. And um, then it just started to fall apart with those companies and he has his own roofing company but he hasn't been uh, doing his own stuff because he was in Arkansas his crew men that he knows that will do the job when he gets a, a, a roof to do uh, are in the Memphis area so he and I have been talking uh, probably since uh, day one <laughs> as to what would happen if one of us um, gets tired of going back and forth two and a half hours to Arkansas. Now, I know so many of you say that's not even a long ride. It is for two people who like to be together, and we like to be together. So, um, I can't remember exactly, like, but within two weeks, you know, I think it took us five days to meet, and then uh, maybe a week that we saw each other and only were apart for like a night or two at the most. And then since then, though, we have never been apart, except for when he was in the hospital. And even then, I was able to visit him during the day and, you know, stuff like that. So we haven't been separated um, since. It's just uh, one of those things. We just like to be together, and we just thought, well, we're just going to go back and forth to each other's place. And I know some of you thought I already moved to Arkansas, but I'm not moving. I moved from Maine to Hernando to be near Derek and Skyler. And I'm sticking firm with that, at least until she graduates. Because I want to be available to, to take her to the things she needs to go to and to go to the things she does, the choir, and now she's a stagehand for the theater, stuff like that, two choirs. And, you know, I just want to be around for all that. Like I was here for her homecoming dance. I was able to see... Her, I have pictures on my Facebook profile, which is in the description below, uh, of her and her friends. and So I love that, and I don't care if it's being selfish to be the one to say I'm not moving. I don't care. I'm not moving. But you know what? If people do move away from their grandchildren, their children, their grown children, and grandchildren if they have them, there's nothing wrong with that, because people get shit on uh, I mean, I've been getting shit on a few times in the comments saying, you're never with Skylar anymore, and this and that. And it's like, would I be with her if I was still living in Maine? You know? And there are people who do decide they have to move, and they want to retire in Florida, or whatever, and they're leaving their grown children and their grandchildren. I don't know. I don't think people should be criticized and certainly not punished for doing that. But... I wasn't moving. I have no interest in going to move to Arkansas where there's absolutely nothing for me. No friends and I don't want to make new friends and I don't want to be going out there. So I knew I wasn't moving and I was willing to continue to do the traveling back and forth. But uh, when Joe decided he, you know, really wanted to get back to his own roofing and doing odd jobs and things like that, we both knew he needed to be back in this area. So what we did is we looked for RVs for him. He has a friend, um, uh, I think two friends. He knows everybody. 
He has a couple of friends who own uh, mobile home parks and they also have RVs there and he could park an RV there. And we went and looked. But if we or he were to get an RV, I would love it to be in a condition where we could actually go on like weekend trips or things like that. So the very cheap ones that might be okay just to live in but don't really run, I was like, mm, I really would like something that runs. So we're going to keep looking. And I said, um, while you're looking, why don't you just stay with me? Because we're together all the time anyway. And, you know, like when we're here, we're here. And right now he just took off to go to an AA meeting. I mean, it's not like we're glued at the hip. But we genuinely like hanging out together. We don't get sick of each other. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of cool. I think. So we're we're taking chances. So, oh yeah, so anyway, the thing is, is how we're easing that worry is to say, he can still get an RV. Get an RV, park it somewhere. And if he's on a job site that's closer to there, he's got a place he can go, he can stay. And if we need time apart, he can go stay there. So uh, we're still going to be looking into the RV thing. He does not want to get an apartment here in Hernando because it is more than double the rent. He was paying six twenty-five, dollars uh, 675 for a two bedroom, 625, but then he pays 50 bucks a month for Rocket to live there. And uh, and two bedroom, I have a two bedroom. The only thing is, is I have also two baths. He only had one bath there. But uh, his is 625 base uh, rent, and mine, with no pets, is over $1,500 per month. So um, that's a big difference. And so I understand, you know, he wouldn't, and want to pay that. So an RV is really a good option, especially if he can get a, an RV that runs decent and we could take off and do some things. I would absolutely love that. And he would too. But like I said, he um, isn't, you know, ready to retire. He's only 57. So, uh, so he's moving and we're doing this tomorrow. <laughs> we, we've been thinking about it for a couple of weeks and then we decided let's just do it. Let's just get it done. And so uh, we're going back to Arkansas tomorrow, which is a Wednesday. Going to start packing his stuff. No, I take that back. Tomorrow is Tuesday. So we're going to Arkansas on Tuesday. Um, just There's not a whole lot. He just moved in. Uh, and then uh, the big things, though, is he does have a washer and dryer, and, and he wants to take it. If it were up to me, I would leave everything there and sell everything there and then just come with with nothing and then start over but he wants to bring his washer and dryer and then he also wants to bring his big queen size bed and I was like well I can't run the show right it's not my show to run so we're doing that we're renting a U-Haul and we will be coming back on Wednesday we're gonna get the U-Haul on Wednesday uh, as for other things, uh, like the one bedroom, it's just a little bit of stuff that's left from my office that I set up. And like there's nothing in the closets and his closet is not much. So, you know, I mean, there's not a whole lot. And um, and then we're, we're bringing that stuff here to my apartment, which is all of a sudden going to have a, a lot of stuff. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. And, uh, and then, and then, and then I am going to be free to run my business again the way I want. I will not be going back and forth. You have no clue how happy that makes me. He is going to be able to get back to having his own business and getting roofing jobs. And he's excited about that. Now, yes, we know he's diabetic and I have talked about him having like episodes where he's very dizzy, things like that. Um, he doesn't get on the roofs. I mean, if any, you know, just to look at it or whatever. He's not on the roofs doing the job when it's his own business. He's got a crew who does the work. So he's just the general contractor and oversees and make sure and to make sure everything is, is going good as planned. And then he also wants to do handyman work on the side. And I'll be helping him with that because I have a local following now. And so you'll be hearing more about those things. I just think it's going to be fun and exciting. And we will be, you know, free to almost not be together all the time, right? Because right now he has been working like he just did. He worked on a roof himself today. Um, and he does, you know, pick up these jobs. 
But, uh, you know, when he has a lot of time off, we're together. So we've had a pretty good run of being together and, and not killing each other. <laughs> so it's all good. Now, I know some of you are going to say, you're going to regret it. And you said you'd never live with a man. I don't even consider it like living with a man. It's like I, I have like my best friend in the apartment. I don't know. It's just so different. It's so different. And uh, I think it's worth taking a chance, right? I'm 63. I'm 63 fucking years old. And if I think that he and I can hang out together and get along, why not try that? Why not? It's going to help me with the rent. You know, it's uh, it's still expensive, but, you know, he, he's not a freeloader. This man, he makes his money, and he's very generous with it, not only to me, with me, but with strangers, you know? He's a very generous man, and he's not a freeloader. He works. He works hard. He's worked hard all his life. Uh, you know, as time goes on, you'll you'll get to know the things that, that he has done and, and things like that. Uh, we're just taking it slow with the audience um, as to what we say. And I always talk to him about everything. And he's always like, you just you just tell anybody what you want. And I was like, they're going to know your name now. They'll, they'll be hunting you down. And some have. And I'm going to have a sip of my uh, butter tea. That is so good. It's um, just hot water, a little bit of milk. I'm back to buying some milk so I can have milk in my butter tea uh, and a half a stick of butter in this size cup. Half a stick of butter in there and um, a little bit of extract and I used anise this time. And as it's starting to get a little bit not so hot, I like that at night, just have a hot drink and so that's it. So I start my day every day now with a half a stick of butter. I've been doing that for a a long time, months, in my in my water, and uh, now I'm starting to do it at night, and that's an easy way to get a whole stick of butter in. Just love that. Thought you needed to know that. You didn't. And some of you who don't know what I'm talking about, just don't ask. <laughs> okay, so I I told you all of that, and uh, I am I'm very excited about being back to business a little bit. Oh, and some of you. You know, again, you have said to me that I look tired. I am tired. I'm tired and that I don't look happy anymore. I'm, I'm quite happy and content and that I don't go dancing as much. And that has nothing to do with Joe. I started to not go dancing as much before I met him. I talked about that uh, in my videos, that it was almost becoming like an obsession, almost like an addiction, and it was making me very mentally ill if I couldn't go out and I didn't have plans and you know things like that and uh, so I purposely was taking steps back from that so it was a good time in the way for me to meet someone because I wasn't available to others because I refused to give up going out so I wouldn't give up going out for them and I didn't give up going out for Joe because I had already stopped going out as much. But he has seen some of my older videos and he does read all the comments that I let through. And I do read the comments to him, or, or he can look at the comments too, uh, of the ones that don't go through, right? So he gets to know what people say. So he feels bad still sometimes. Like, you used to go out all the time. And I was like, but no, I didn't want to be doing that. So I don't want him to think that he's stopping my nightlife and we pretty much have gone out every single weekend since I've met him. I mean, I was shocked that he even would. I don't think there's a weekend that we've missed at all. We went out this past weekend. We went out Friday night, Saturday night. We had plans to go to Lafayette's for Sunday, the, the early show and then the later show. And we both said that day, that morning, uh, you really feel like going out and... I said, I really don't, and he was like, I don't either, but then we said, well, we'll see how we feel, and um, no, we ended up staying home, it felt so good to just stay home, and, you know, I was going out a lot, dancing a lot, I do love to go out, go dancing, 
but I was really doing it to fill my time because I didn't like just being home alone, but now I'm not home alone, right? So just, I, I want everybody to not worry about me, but have I been tired? Yes, because we have been going back and forth and back and forth and it, it stresses me out to know that I have to pack things for business and then you know and, and I even have to worry like what's in the refrigerator like I can't cook something a lot the day before because now am I going to have room to freeze all this I can't leave this I don't know if I'm going to be gone three days four days whatever so it's stressful and now it's not going to be, and um, un until it is again. This always stressful stuff. And if he and I don't make it, it's not going to be hard for him to either stay with a friend or move in with a friend. He knows a lot of people. He doesn't have to really rent an apartment around here. But if he absolutely has to, he'll find an apartment. He wouldn't have to stay right here. He could go to a less expensive place than Hernando. <laughs> Hernando's expensive to live in, I think. So it's all going to work out. Right? Right. And, yes, let's talk a little bit now about fabric. I don't think there was anything else I needed to say to you about that. Um, and, you know, I do expect him to be at on camera at some point. I really do. I have the harder time with that because I'm shy in front of other people until, until, uh, I mean, how many have I ever done videos with Skylar? I did videos with her all the time. I've done videos with Derek. Uh, so that's cool. And I have like talked to people in stores and had them on camera. That's always fun. If I see somebody, a business mind turns on, right? I'm like, oh, business, business, this is business, talking to somebody on camera. So I'm, I'm much better when it's business, but if I'm with Joe in front of a camera, it's going to be odd, but we'll get used to it really, really quick. And, and I hope you get to know him by him being on camera. I'm never going to force him to do that, but I have a feeling you'll get to know him better, and you'll start to, you know, at some point there as soon as he's settled in, um, you know, try to get some odd jobs for him, for him in the area, stuff like that. He can do all kinds of things. I need, I need a list. <laughs> all right. I am going to talk a little bit about fabric. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little fabric show, uh, slideshow at the end of this video, in case you're interested. Once again, I sell my, a fab, my fabric. Exclusive sales, uh, USA only. I need to throw that in. Uh, on Patreon, through Patreon and through YouTube memberships. My regular flash sales are at the $5 per month level. Per month, not per order or anything like that. You pay the $5. It's a fan funding platform, both those things, um, whether you order or not. It's $5 per month, and and that's you know funding as a fan all the things that I do. And it includes flash sales, which, um, let me just show you something. This is just a couple of the things I have currently, but let's see, this is, I want you to remember, this is October 16, 2023, so if you're watching this in the future, like even in a week from now, these things most likely won't be there. But these are five inch squares. And there's, I think, 17 different Christmas prints in these. You get two of each. There's 34 in all. I hope I'm saying everything right. <laughs> and, you know, and, I, and this is $10, I think, and free shipping, like that. So it's like a little charm pack, but you get a nice variety. And then this one is, I think, my best seller. It's the, um, the um, bandana prints. And again, I think there's 17 different colors. They're all the same print. And there's two each. This one, there's four each, I think. I don't know. I can't remember. I have too many things going on. But these are the Christmas prints. And then these are the bandana prints. And there's... I, can't, I don't know how to do anything right now because I'm tired. And there's... A whole bunch of just colorful ones. Let me show you. 
Now these I know, these are 36. I have some packs and it's usually the ones that are all like one color, one colorway, like all pink. And um, 36 squares, uh, the pack is 1050. And you can make a mini quilt that I've made before using 36 squares, I believe. And it comes out, you know, nice, nice little pet blanket or whatever, uh, or for dolls, something like that. I'll link to that video in the description box if you want to see how to make a mini quilt using 36 squares. Anyway, so like lots of different pinks. I think there's nine different pinks. And we got coral here. And there should be nine different coral prints. And it's really, really cool. Uh, this one is uh, the Caribbean, I think. Uh, again, like that. And I have um, some other colors there. I have blue, I have, I don't know, I have all kinds of things. I'll do a slideshow at the end of this video, so stick around. So what I'm just trying to tell you is, if you want to get in at the $5 level, you can buy like sets of different things. It can be fat quarters and um, layer cakes and, uh, I mean, just too many things to name. And I'm just starting to get back into it, but there will be a variety. I'm going to be doing bulk sales also. I buy wholesale fabric and I want to put some things together, uh, you know, that in bulk so that I can bring the price down per each thing. And that's at the $10 level on my platforms, which is Patreon and YouTube memberships. That's not the same as subscribers. Subscribers, you don't pay anything. You just subscribe so that YouTube will put it in your feed when you go to YouTube. Uh, memberships are a paid thing. And both of those you can join at $5 and get just the flash sales, or you can join at $10, and you'll still have the option to do the flash sales, but you'll also get the bulk fabrics. And I, I'm working on setting that up, and now we have to move Joe. <laughs> so I won't have videos or anything for the next couple of days. And then all those things also include daily chats that I do and um, a free book list that I do every day. Very seldom do I skip that. And I've been doing that for years. And so anyway, I just wanna let you know all that. If you're interested in any of this, the wholesale stuff, I'm really hoping to have some stuff this weekend because I have a big shipment coming in tomorrow. I thought it was coming today, but it's coming in tomorrow. And I'm going to be so anxious when I get back to start doing some bulk stuff uh, for those who, um, you know, want more fabric. I will try to keep it, you know, so that some people who don't want to spend $300 on fabric, because I do plan on selling some, you know, big lots of things so that you can have a go-between Wholesalers, a lot of wholesalers have minimum purchases and or you have to buy so many times per month. You need a, a permit or a resale certificate, whatever your state does. And there can be, you know, all kinds of different things that you have to do to be able to buy directly from a wholesaler. I do all those things. And this way you can get still good prices from me in bulk, but not have to spend $500 at once, you know? I'm just nerved up because we got a big day, big day tomorrow, we're going to Arkansas and I, we're spending the whole time just packing things and getting things ready and dismantling the bed and and then once we're all settled, it's just gonna be, um, I'll be so much more relaxed, I really will. I, I, I kind of will miss going there because it is like a little getaway and it was fun to have my own space in his apartment for a little while, but it doesn't make sense for us to be going back and forth, especially since he has a, a crew of guys that can work for him here, and he would much rather be running his own business than working for somebody else um, who ends up being just, you know, not the best company to work for, right? Okay, I'm gonna sign off now. Stick around for the little slideshow. I'm gonna show you the different things that I have as of right now. I probably won't show all of them to you. Maybe, maybe I can. And um, uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye. The info uh, for Patreon and YouTube memberships is in the description box below.